uh, in this video, um, what I'm going to be talking about is successive ionization energies. And I said last video I was going to talk about uh, a bit about successive ionizations, successive ionization energies. So, what successive ionization energies is, and and I went about a bit into what it is in the, one of my previous videos. It's basically the energy required to remove the subsequent electrons uh, um, from an ion after you've removed the first one. So, let's say you had um, oxygen, uh, O, and it already you've already made it into an ion. So it's a gaseous because so, you remove them in the gaseous state because uh, it's easy. And then this becomes, um, and then you want to remove a, an, a further electron. So this would become O. Um, and then it would be gaseous and it'd be 2 plus now since we removed an extra electron and so this is the successive ionization and it, this is represents the well this particular one is the second ionization energy of oxygen but this is one of the successive ionization on energies of, of oxygen because what we're doing here is we're removing a successive we're removing oh no my last video okay uh I'll play that after I finish this one. So what we're remo what we're doing here is we're removing a subsequent electron after the first electron has already been removed, and so this is this we call this the um, we call this successive ionization energies. And since this is the second ionization, I might as well go into what the definition, the traditional definition for sec second ionization, second ionization energy is. So let me just wrap this out. Daniel Pine is locked in. Let me close this. Okay. Um, so successive, uh, second ionization energy would be the energy required. So the energy. Wait, whoa, I'm using a pencil. Wrong tool. Anyway, the energy required to remove, to remove one electron from each ion, and this, in this time, this time, since this is the second ionization energy, we're saying ions, not atoms. One electron from each ion, ion in one mole of gaseous one plus ions and here we're specifying the charge since this is the second ionization energy in one mole of gaseous one plus ions to form and since it's a one to one ratio we're forming one mole as well to form one mole of gaseous two plus ions, so we're specifying now the charge of the produced um, ion of gaseous two plus ions, and so this would be the definition of the um, second second ionization energy ionization energy. So there we go. The energy required to remove one electron from each ion in one mole of gaseous one plus ions to form one mole of gaseous two plus ions and so we can now uh, modify this uh, definition to make an overall like a summary sort of uh, for, for the a summary for the, the ionizations which happen continues to happen after the first electron has been removed if that's what we're trying to do so the successive ionization energy the traditional the definition for it, the successive ionization. If you were asked like maybe a question about what the successive ionization energy is, this is this is probably what you put. The successive ionization energy. And I'll switch back to a different color. Would be the energy required. To remove 
and logically you could basically just figure out what this definition is but yeah just write it down the energy required to remove each subsequent electron each subsequent electron from one mole of gaseous ions and I won't say to form one mole uh, oh wait right 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 I need to write to specify the charge so one mole of gaseous positive ions I won't specify the charges since it can vary, but this, this would be the, the general definition. The energy required to remove each subsequent electron from one more of gaseous positive ions. So that would be for successive ionization energies. And in the next video, what I'm going to be talking about is the trends. Because if we were to plot a graph of the different ionization energies in a form like, um, so that we can compare them, what we'll find is that there's a pattern for, depending on what element we are at trying to ionize successively successively ionize and so in the next video i'm going to be talking about uh what these trends what we can what information we can get from these trends so yeah i i hope this video was helpful and i will be seeing you in the next video